Here we go, here we go, we're back. The gorgeous, gorgeous night sky here. You can see the wind moving, which is kind of creepy. But other than that, it's pretty pretty. We gotta go secure the primary pipes. Um, we're here round three in this place. The radio. Thanks for tuning in for the second part of our interview with Serena Valdivia and award-winning photographer Alice Wake. Now, Alice, we were talking about your husband. Well, a little bit. Of course it is. The way I see it, we had our good times and our bad times, and on the whole, we had a lot of good times. He really made me happy. I don't mind being reminded of him. So you're, uh, you're over him? <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be that, entirely. I still think about him every day, literally. I still find myself hoping for... Well, sometimes I think I see him just standing somewhere, watching me. I think most people who lose someone they love experience things like that. But on the whole, I'm doing all right. Two years is a long time to adjust, and I'm not really the type to wallow in the negative. Well, I know there are a lot of stories about Alan. He seemed to have something of a wild streak. Um, that's not really what our show is about, though. Look, all that stuff really gets blown out of proportion. He had his problems. But it's really frustrating for me because people like to talk. They love to tell these crazy stories, and they never really knew him at all. Well, the character he created, uh, Alex Casey, is a household name. The book still continue to sell. There's been talk of a TV series, a movie, a video game. It must be nice to know that his work is still being appreciated by so many readers. Yes, of course, but I don't really deal with the business side. I leave that to Alan's agent. Uh, that would be Barry Wheeler. Actually, I just interviewed him. Uh, he's currently in the music business, mm -hmm. and he's also Alan's best friend. Uh, do you two keep in touch? Or? We talk regularly. Like I said, he handles the business side. I think we should talk about her film. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I'm Eddie Rodman, talking to Alice Wake and Serena Valdivia, and we'll be right back. Well, then. She still loves me! Okay, good. Let's go to secure the primary pipes. And, uh... Get this done faster than normal, maybe. Or not. You know how these guys are, you know. Get out of here, you schmucks. Okay, I have to get in there somehow. Oh! Whoa. That's really not okay. Dapper. Get out. Yes. Thank you for opening the gate, clown man. Get out of the way! Clear your spaces! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Ah! Where the heck did you come from? Get out of here. I need to open this up. Come on. Pull that switch, Alan. Very good. I believe we're ready to look into the sky. Oh, okay. You're right there, doctor. I don't know how she can hear me. I'm way down here yelling, but that's okay. I don't know how I can hear her either. I mean, I guess she could come over the huge loud PA system at the observatory. If they have one. But how the heck am I... Is she hearing me? You know? Wow. That car was dangerous. Return to Dr. Meadows. Up and up we go. If this is anything like last time, we know it goes bad soon. There's some... Oh, it's a hillbilly. You know how much I love them. Have some though. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out of here, you galloping girl. You galloping go 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 or go. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. Listen to the sound of the assault rifle. Ah, right here. Big hillbilly chest. I'll thump you with bullets until you take a rest. Good night. That's five dollars for that rhyme. Okay. There seems to be a lovely, uh, a manuscriptor over here before we get back to the observatory, so I'll pick that up. Wow, jumping for joy. Good work, Alan. This act of creation is exhilarating and frightening. Subtext and symbols loom eager to take effect. Causality and consequence become domino chains that stretch into infinity. The more fundamental the change, the more unpredictable the variables become. Reality is too complex to control completely. 
ordinary questions become meaningless. Who created who? What is really real? Everything is as real as everything else. You learn to let go of the things you can't control and go with the flow or go insane. Well, going insane is not my choice. Not my choice. Not my choice. Not, not my choice. Okay. What is really real? Going insane. Oh, there's another fragment too. The film noir poster reminded me of Alex Casey. The detective's cool exterior never cracking even with the gun pointed in his face. In the back room, all the lights had been turned off, except for the lone spotlight which illuminated the bright red fire extinguisher on the wall. Oh, that was from back at the Magic Ranch where we did all that adjustment. Oh, there's a manuscript page. Should I go get it? Ow! Wow. Guess I'm not getting that. Maybe I can get it up this way. Oh, look. I bet the next one's gonna bust too. You ready? Oh, yeah. I'm a freaking magic, magic man predicting the future. Oh, jeez. You like assault rifles? Yeah, I thought so. See, I'm good at predicting gifts for people. I know what they like. Just have that natural instinct about me. Read it, Alan. The Taken may well be the tool the darkness favors over any other. At some point, they used to be human, but whatever humanity they once had is long gone. Now they're just shells covered and filled by darkness. The Taken Mr. throws at me are more grotesque and varied than the ones I first encountered in Bright Falls. But I know how to deal with them. I'd be lying if I said they don't fright me. But I've survived worse. I can't let them stop me. Hmm. What? What is the whole, like, main conceit? Like, who is... I mean, remember there was that witch back in Illinois 1 or, like, old crazy woman, but who... Mr. Scratch is the main villain, or is that, like, from that... Like, I don't understand the, the, the what the motive of these bad guys is. You know, what... What... I just... I don't... I don't know! I don't understand! We should probably get back to the main game. I'm just trying to ponder here what's going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's a dodge. That's a dodge move. Oh, it's a Muffin Man Mace wielding team. They're brothers. Hey, brother. I just killed your brother. Get out. What is this? Combat shotgun? I don't think I have... Oh, I do have 40. Let's see how it works. I don't know. Just mix up the weapons. Uh, right? Let's see. No, 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 I... Stop. Stop. Yes. Now I've got the combat shotgun. We'll see how that works. First, the whole... Ooh. Oh, whoa. What are you doing? Get out. Yeah. Whoa. Come on. Good work. Dr. Meadows, let's check the sky. Come on in. I'm coming. Another television. Whoa, camera, my camera. That's creepy news. Whoa. This is what you look like. Does that bother you? I bet it does. I'm not just wearing your face, you know. It goes a lot deeper than that. There's a lot of you and me. All the best parts. At first, I was just an idea. But they kept telling all those stories about you. You already had that rep. And then you disappeared mysteriously. And then, the stories about... Bad, crazy Alan Wake came true. And here I am. That's the best part, isn't it? When that happens, you can always count on Cauldron Lake. <sighs> I'm just as real as you are. And I'm the improved version. No fears, 
No doubt, no weaknesses, no self-deception here. I don't let anything drag me down. I know you like I know myself. I know it bothers you that I'm like this. That I use your name, crawl my way into your life. But I only do it because... I'm better at being you than you ever were. Thanks, man. You're just... This guy is such a jerk, you know? I just... I'm trying, again, just really work through here what... Who the main villain is, if it's this guy. But, you know... What? Let's just go talk to Dr. Mousers. That shotgun is a very weird... I mean, I know it's got that barrel for the ammo and stuff, but it looks so strange on it. Take me to the sky! Teach me about... Love, or whatever you're gonna talk to me about. Creepy old doctor. Yeah. Come on. What the? Uh... Okay, oh jeez. Here comes music. Who turned on the music? That was a flashbang. I'm shooting the flare gun. Wham! That was a miss, but we still rocket launch those two freakazoids. Haven't used that yet, this DLC. Feels good, huh? Uh oh. Da da da. It's a launcher, it's a lurker, it's a big fat Mr. Perker. Oh, they're dangerously close. Hello? Oh. Hey. Hey, you. Whoa. Do you even see this guy? Ah! Get out of the way. Music is kind of crazy. I'm just trying to... Oh, jeez. Get out of here. There's so much spray of the shotgun, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of nifty. Have it. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but hey. It looks cool. It's got a very cool light effect. Are we done here? We are. The song's over. <laughs> That's just rude. Are you all right? I'll live. Glad. I'll send the lift down. Here. Okay, yeah. Thanks for stealing that away from me when I was getting scared there. Very clearly now. But technically, if this really is a loop in time, it's a metaphor. I don't know why our awareness persists, but it's bloody fascinating. A bloody fascinating. Okay. Let me in. Doctor? Doctor? <laughs> no, I know physicists who would give 15 years of their lives for a chance to experience something like this. I'd imagine that being stalked by horrible axe murderers would curb their enthusiasm a little. Clearly you've never met hardcore physicists. I'm glad you're in such good spirits, but... The signal! Yes, it's completed! <gasps> Finally! Finally? I'm not even talking, I'm just getting out of here. In a strange way, he feels at ease. He is armed with his own words, and when the time comes, they will be enough or they will not. For now, he's content to let the currents take him toward the final confrontation. Da -da 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 -da. Going back to the drive-in for the third and final time, hopefully, here. I guess this is where the game wraps up, or we just get thrust back into the canyon again for a infinite loop of, of horror. I mean, I guess that could happen as well. Who knows? Once more, we return to the drive-in. If he's aware of the absurdity of arming oneself with a few sentences and standing against a power that can pierce time itself, he doesn't show it. The man has his share of weaknesses, perhaps more. 
but cowardice is not among them. I like how, even though it's time loop, he drove to a different area so that you could be closer to the power. That's pretty cool. Looks like we'll wrap the game up next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Look up at the night sky and see. I don't know where you could see this many stars. This, this town has, like, no lights. Because um, I sure as I can't see this, and I live in... You know, it's not like I live in a big city or anything. So, anyway, have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, when we wrap up Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which is going really good, we'll see you all. Later.